years have passed since the events of Black Guards 1 and Aventuria has moved on. New powers have arisen in the south and old alliances have crumbled. Black Guards 2 offers a much more open experience than its predecessor. This allows for a dynamic struggle for power between several factions that takes place on a huge strategical map. These factions are what we are going to talk about today. The dominant group in the region around the depraved city of Mengbilla is serving Marwan the Slaver. He is the sadistic master of the arena of Mengbilla and was already an important character in Blackguards 1. Now he rules over vast lands, sitting on his shark throne with the aid of an army of mercenaries and unknown dark powers. He is opposed by Cassia, the player character. This determined, tough lady is gathering an army of mercenaries as well to force Marwan to his knees. Her motives are shrouded in mystery. She teamed up with the mercenary leader Faramut, an unpleasant fellow who, however, has a lot of influence in his professional field. But that won't be enough to defeat Marwan. Cassia is therefore seeking the help of her enemy's enemy, the heroes from Blackguards 1. This, however, is easier said than done. Takate lives deep in the jungle, as the chieftain of a Moha tribe and worshipped as a half-god. He is organizing arena fights himself and first has to be convinced to march into battle again. Norim acquired the dwarfish twins Baal and Kadalman's commercial empire. The wealth didn't do him much good, at least not for his physical condition. He has grown extremely fat and has to get back in shape. Zulbaran, the mage from al -Anfa, is perhaps the worst of. He has become a slave and has to be freed. All these characters will form a curious alliance in the battle against Marwan and his henchmen. This battle is not fought in a linear way, instead you as the player have to decide where to strike and which city to free from the slaver's troops first, using the strategical world map. Up to 10 mercenaries will join you in every battle and you can freely place them in the staging area of the battle map each time. As soon as a location is conquered, your characters will gain access to the city screen where merchants, NPCs and subquests will be waiting for you. Blue flags on the map stand for Cassias and purple ones for Marwan's cities. Marwan, however, may decide to take his cities back, so for the first time you will have to be in a defensive role. To defend your cities in this new kind of map, you may use traps and order your troops to guard certain areas. But even if you should fail, not everything is lost you will be able to win the city back. But this time it will be tougher, as Marwan will be prepared. Depending on which locations you attack first, the story of Black Arts 2 will differ. We will talk about the new gameplay elements like mercenaries, defending and other cool new stuff in upcoming videos. So stay tuned for more news about Black Arts 2.